why I call back the tiebreaker is because oftentimes in bodybuilding, the competition is so cutthroat that there is really no clear winner if you're just looking at front poses. And the deciding factor usually comes from the back, your back poses. And that's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to focus on hitting back. I'm going to focus primarily on thickness because I feel that's my weak point. I get a lot of compliments on my back, honestly, like just because I have wide shoulders and a small waist. So I have like a really nice taper. But honestly, guys, like my back is probably my weakest body part. So just because I lack a little bit of thickness, just my genetics, I'm not that big of a dude. I'm only 5'5", 145 pounds on stage, so I'm not as thick as the other guys. Come on, man. So, and there's only so much faking you can do. You can't really fake thickness. Girth. Come on now, dog. <coughs> guys, bear with me. I'm a little stuffy congested. I'm f***ing sick as f***. It ain't no secret guys, usually everybody knows that rowing helps you create a thicker physique. So I'm just gonna do my usual, probably hit 3 or 4 sets between 8 to 10 RPE. Building a complete back is has a lot of challenges just because there's so many fucking different muscles that go into it with your shoulders, your traps, your rhomboids, your rear delts, your lats. So there's like a lot of layers that go into your back. So it's very important to hit many different angles and of course to go heavy. Normally I like to hit the cables for rows just because I get a little more pump off of it. But since I'm going after strength and some real thickness and because I'm starting off fresh, I figured I'd go with this. Uh, I'm sorry. Usually I like to do the machines, but today I'm sticking with the cables today. And as always, I can't reiterate how important it is, guys, to lift heavy. Especially if you're natural. I mean, you're not going to fucking make any gains if you're pushing around light weights. If you want to have a not natural looking physique, you got to be pushing not natural weights. Your body is way too smart and fucking adapts to everything, so you gotta constantly be pushing yourself. I'm gonna do one more set and then I'll move on to a different exercise, but lately I've been trying to focus a lot more on the eccentric phase of my pulling movements. Just because I get better mu muscle activation off of it. Most of my lifting career has been focused on lat pull downs. That's probably why I have such a nice wide frame. However, I'm starting to lack on thickness. That's why I'm doing so many fucking rows, guys. <laughs> <sighs> So as you can see, I'm just switching up different variations of rows 
just because I'm after thickness. And I know I'm in a calorie deficit, but I really want to bring up my back just a tad bit more. So I'll be adding some more volume and focusing on my recovery and volume on my back training days. So you know how I said it's important to lift heavy? The thing about back days, you can actually overdo it. Like don't go too heavy on back. That's the primary issue that I have is sometimes I get little knots and like kinks in my back just because I go way too fucking heavy and my form goes to shit, you know? So keep an eye on that guys. Don't fuck your shit up. Yeah, big weights are going to make you grow, but you don't want to be walking around with knots and kinks, annoyance, you want to feel good, right? Just because you could fucking rip out four plates doesn't mean you should actually fucking do it. Just drop the weight just a little bit. Go heavy, but not too heavy. There's that sweet spot. That G spot, you gotta hit that G spot, baby. <sighs> oh, fuck, I didn't even count that shit. But I'm aiming for 8 to 10 reps, guys, for all of these sets. Doing about 3 sets each exercise before moving on to the next. Oh shit, damn. Sliding, sliding, nice. Oh, it's too light. Too light. But I gotta be careful. I told you guys, man, sometimes I go too heavy. I notice too when I overextend and like put myself in a very vulnerable position by overextending like that, oftentimes that's where I fuck my shit up. So, try to set up, set up a mental cue of when to stop for the stretch. For lat pull downs, I've tried different widths of grip. Played around with that for a little bit, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference, if anything. So I primarily just use just whatever width grip that I'm comfortable with, which is just like just a bit further than shoulder width apart. Fuck it, shit's coming off. Hi, right, look guys. Just got done with the buffet.
I'm going relatively light on this shit. Alright, we're almost done. We'll do one more. We'll do my favorite exercise. Shrugs, baby. Deadlifts are cool too, guys, if you like deadlifting. I notice a big difference in uh, my traps, especially. Just from deadlifting and rack pulls are a great option. But like I said, I'm specializing in thickness. That's why I haven't really been doing that kind of stuff. Uh, go watch my trap video. It's not as good because it was like one of my older videos, but I think it's pretty decent. It's pretty good for a beginner. <sighs> Same thing with these ones, guys. Like, you could really overdo it on the weight. I used to shrug 405. I used to shrug four plates. But that really didn't fucking build much muscle. If anything, I was just like really straining myself. So I keep it pretty chill with these. If you need to use straps, use straps. It ain't all that serious. If you need to use straps to lift heavier, I'm all for that shit. It ain't even leg day. Why am I looking at my legs? <laughs> all right. Okay, so I can throw more weight, but my grip is starting to give up, so I'll throw more weight in. I'm going to have to use straps, guys. There's not that many people in the gym today, but it's the same people that were here yesterday. And if you guys watched my recent YouTube short, I was squatting in a suit, working out in a suit. You guys must think I'm fucking insane or something. If you like this video, hook me up. Subscribe, guys. I'm a small channel. Drop a like. Leave a comment. Let Come me know what now, you guys no. want to see. Come I'll on, make a video man. on it, guys. I'm, I'm already running out of ideas. Just kidding. I have a lot of ideas. But I want to know what you guys want to see, right? Okay. Yeah, see, that feels easy. Uh, like I said, I could go heavier. But then I would just be moving weight around. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to do a total of four sets and then maybe some cardio. Don't wait too long in between your sets, guys, or else you'll lose your pump. 365. I'm going to aim for like seven reps. So lately I've been listening to Yeet, album 2093. 
The album's super dope. My favorite song on the album right now is Familia. Give it a listen. Let me know what you guys think. It's very dystopia Blade Runner vibes. That's kind of my mood as of late just because of pre-contest dieting and all that and stress from work and just being so busy. Actually drop a comment too of what else uh, you guys recommend I should listen to. I get sick of music pretty quickly just because I replay it so often. And it is gonna be hard to come back to dieting tomorrow just because today was a dope ass cheat day. I ate so much prime rib, so much ice cream guys. So today I was like 154, but right now I'm like probably weighing 160 pounds. So I'm doing a little bit of cardio to counteract it. But hey, I got a dope ass pump today. Great workout. So I have energy, I'm smiling, wanting to make videos for you guys. About six hours ago, I was not like this guys. I was like totally drained, not in the mood to talk, or I was just hangry, just hangry all day. All right, I'm about to do just like 45 minutes of steady intensity cardio to counteract the buffet. I love you guys. See you in the next video, okay?